The ongoing coronavirus pandemic has made a lot of people aware of the public health consequences of new strains of viruses. Ever since its discovery nearly four decades ago, the HIV virus has been extensively studied and is regarded as one of the fastest mutating viruses ever. Few people are probably aware that there are many genetically distinct variants of HIV. There are two types of HIV known as type 1 and type 2. HIV type 1 is responsible for 95% of the global infections. However, HIV-1 is further classified into four groups named M, N, O and P. Of these, M is the major group and is responsible for much of the global HIV epidemic. Group M is further divided into nine distinct variants named alphabetically from A to K. HIV subtype B is the dominant variant in Europe, America, and Australia while subtype C is the common variant in much of Africa. This massive diversification of HIV has made it difficult to develop a vaccine. In addition, the new mutations can have significant impact on the virus's virulence and transmissibility. For example, the relatively uncommon HIV type 2 which is mostly found in West Africa is less infectious and is less virulent than HIV type 1. For many years there have been fears that new mutations could result in HIV variants that are highly transmissible, virulent, and resistant to antiretroviral drugs. Unfortunately, these fears have now been confirmed. A highly transmissible and damaging variant has been discovered in the Netherlands by researchers from the University of Oxford's Big Data Institute. There are about 100 people who have been found to have this new HIV strain which has been named the VB variant. Individuals with the VB variant were shown to have up to 5.5 times more virus in their blood, and their CD4 T cells dropped nearly twice as fast if compared to the other HIV strains. The researchers estimate that, without treatment, people infected with this variant would develop AIDS within three years of diagnosis, compared with seven years for those infected with other HIV strains. However, the good news is that existing antiretroviral medications are working very well against the VB variant. What this means is that people at risk of acquiring HIV should have regular tests to allow for early diagnosis of possible aggressive HIV variants such as the VB variant and be immediately commenced on treatment if they test positive.